controversial, significant, and limited aspect. Let's define these terms as part of your guidelines as you prepare your persuasive speech. In your persuasive speech, you must take a stand on a limited aspect of your chosen issue. The goal of this assignment is to select a subject that is controversial and significant. Then you must attempt to persuade your audience to change some specific attitude, belief, or behavior regarding the issue. For our purposes, controversial and significant are defined as follows. First, controversial. A subject can be considered controversial if a reasonable person can disagree with you on the subject and still be considered a reasonable person in the larger sense as governed by societal norms and standards. Let's consider an example of how this applies in the development of your persuasive speech. Let's imagine that smoking is your persuasive speech subject and you have framed the subject in the following way. Smoking is bad for you. With the subject framed in this way, is it controversial? Based on our definition of the term, smoking is bad for you is not controversial because wording the subject in this way implies an attempt to change a belief about smoking that is generally agreed upon among reasonable people. What if you took the same subject, smoking or vaping, and framed it like this? You must stop smoking now, or stop smoking. Based on the above definition of controversial, this would be considered a controversial subject because wording the subject in this way implies an attempt to change a behavior about smoking that varies greatly among reasonable people. Now let's consider the term significant. Let's define significant as follows. A subject is significant if it has a reasonable chance to come up in the everyday life of your average audience member. In order to determine the significance of a subject, it is necessary to analyze your audience. Doing so will help you determine who you expect to be your average audience member and who you want to be your target audience. Based on our definition of significant, I recommend avoiding certain subjects for your persuasive speech. Subjects such as abortion, the death penalty, euthanasia, gun control, and legalization of pot are all relevant controversial issues in our society, but tend not to be the best subject choices for this speech because they typically don't come up as often as the more mundane controversies. Also, because they are such major issues, audiences can be less willing to be persuaded about them, an especially big problem when you have only five minutes to present your speech. While the following controversies are admittedly of lesser social importance, by our definition, they usually turn out to be the more significant. So consider as your subject controversies such as one brand versus another of some product, Mac versus PC, persuading us to consider vacationing in a particular destination, dietary or health subjects, and the like. These are some of the mundane controversies that, generally speaking, tend to come up more often than the big ticket controversies. You should also consider that in a five-minute speech, you will succeed in persuading more of your audience if your issue is not such a big-ticket item. Let's consider the term limited aspect. You should take a stand on a limited aspect of your issue. Although it should be an issue that you appear passionate about, you cannot expect your average audience member to share your level of enthusiasm for the subject. As such, you must propose a change to your audience's attitude, belief, or behavior, whichever area of focus you choose, that is not too extreme, and one that is probably less extreme than what you would be willing to do. Audience analysis and your best judgment are the keys to developing a proposal that is a reasonable, limited aspect of the issue for your audience. For example, you're not likely to persuade your audience to become vegetarians in a five-minute speech. However, if you are a passionate vegetarian, you may be able to persuade some of them to limit their red meat consumption to a maximum of two times a week for the next month. This would be a clear, specific parameter to set and to propose to your audience, which represents a limited aspect of the broader issue. In your body, your persuasive points should be presented as small rewards that lie in store for them if they are willing to make the change you propose. Remember that your persuasive points in this example must be specific to your proposal not just three or more general reasons why it's good to be a vegetarian. You should have three or more ways in which your audience would be better off a month from now if they limited their red meat intake to two times a week. This is what I mean when I say to follow through on your parameters that you've set in the introduction. Give each of your persuasive points a short name that could answer the implicit audience question, why should I make this change? Or even, what's in it for me if I make this change? We've defined controversial, significant, and limited aspect. 
all important terms for you to be aware of as you prepare your persuasive speech.